What Kelsey's law say? What, what would it do? You know, I, I think the basic principle of that piece of legislation is that it gives law enforcement another tool to be able to, if you have a missing person abducted or involved, unfortunately, in a homicide, they would be able to track their phones, their cell phones, to a location where they're at. And being in past law enforcement, that first 24, 48 hours are crucial. And many times, if, and this has happened to me prior to, to becoming a personal legislator as a sheriff, you know, when you try to access that information from a major uh, company, it's very difficult to get that very fast. Because one of the things they will do is they'll try to shift you to their legal department, you know, uh, to make sure that they're not violating the Privacy Acts or anything. But unfortunately, those arenas on a Friday night, a Saturday, a Sunday, off hours are very difficult to get to. And there's been many times that uh, it could be the difference between saving somebody's life and not. And uh, I think it's a very reasonable bill. And, and I truly believe down the road it will save somebody's life. Are there privacy safeguards for those who want yeah. to want for, to for, for the people to understand, that was one of the things we really tried to tighten up in this. And, uh, you know, I, I think Jeannie and the House of Representatives did a great job handling this. But it has to be an emergency situation. It has to be, you know, physical harm, a dangerous situation before you can do it. So, layman-wise, just because you're having a spat at home and you don't know where your husband is, you don't know where your wife is, you can't just call in and say, hey, I've got a missing person. You know, that will be up to law enforcement's discretion, but it has to be a serious threat. So to try to keep, make sure we don't get that abused or everything. So there is, you know, it would be totally up to law enforcement before they would enact that or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it, it's got to be frustrating, as you said, as somebody in law enforcement, knowing that the information could be there, knowing that the information, I mean, knowing that the technology exists for you to be able to actually ping somebody and, and to kind of get a location, it has to be kind of frustrating that you aren't able to really use that. Well, case. there's no question about that. And, you know, one of the one of the fears, and thank goodness I never had to go through that, but just like a child being abducted, for whatever reason, if that child would have a phone on them and you can get that a, in real time, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's important for that industry uh, as much as they're involved in, in the profit side of that and what the product is they sell, they can help with this. Because when, when you're talking about a serious incident of a child being abducted, anybody being abducted or a serious case, you ought to have the ability to have that information. And the other thing that was important in the bill is to try to protect them to make sure the liability side of it is if they did give it, and for whatever reason somebody misused it or something, that they're not liable for that. Mm -hmm. You know, the companies are not. So you had to kind of protect them also. So it is a good, fundamental, basic bill, I believe, that will truly help somebody and save somebody's life. When you talk about the cell phone companies, uh, you know, I, I know in the past there has been some reticence, but I noticed in the House hearing that Verizon testified uh, in favor of the bill, so they're on board now too, right? That's correct. That's correct. Uh, most all the communications here in the state of Missouri that I know of, that I've talked to, are supportive of the bill. I mean, they understand the importance of it. And some of them already have policies in place. So, I mean, it's not like this is brand new. But this just makes sure it's clear cut that if you need that information, that you'll get that information and you're going to get it in a timely fashion. Because again, what I said earlier, the first 24 hours is critical. And if that clock starts after what I want to call normal business hours, then you know, wait until the next morning or something, your 24 hours will be gone before you know it. And like I said, it's the difference between helping somebody and not helping them. As far as you know, how um, accurate are these pings? Uh, talking to mm -hmm. your law enforcement guys, mm -hmm. how accurate can they pinpoint somebody? Extremely. Uh, extremely, you know, uh, and that's a little bit of a process to explain, but you know, they do a tripod process where they ping something, but they're going to get you in a significant area pretty quick. Uh, and I do mean probably within a mile, I mean, or less in a lot of ways, depending on what the terrain is and depending on what the tower situations are. Uh, but but it, it would be such a valuable tool for, for somebody to have to be able to try to find somebody, you know. So it'd be good. I, I, I don't think there's a you know, to just to be able to get that information in an emergency situation, we, we should be doing that, especially with today's technology. Bill is moving. Uh, what do you think the chances are? Uh, you know, I believe this will be one that uh, you will see and that the public will see the governor sign. The, this is nothing but a positive uh, thing for the public sector, uh, for people out there. Uh, like I said, it's another, it's a great tool to put in the toolbox for law enforcement and for the safety of people in the state.